Hello and welcome to HD Free to Play. Today we're looking at a game called Deviate Exile by GameSo. Now this is a Facebook game and it's a general Facebook strategy game like we've seen before with a few sort of unique changes. So let's just take a look at the actual map screen here. Here you can see my base that I have named, uh, let me just close this, I called it The Base which I thought was quite original, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so here's my base, uh, as you can see, uh, lots of structures around, lots of different units around, now we've got some of these production things, so as always, we'll click to collect our resources, as you see here we're getting some uh, lucid, we've got munitions, we've got power, and we have hardware as resources in the game, and you can build structures that will obtain those resources. Now, why do you need resources, you ask? Well, of course, to buy units and more resources. That's what these games are all about. Building out, expanding, obviously there's going to be rubble to clear, like always. <laughs> God damn it, rubble. Um, <laughs> but now, let's uh, just uh, close off this. So if we go into our store here, we can see the kind of stuff that we can buy to either improve our base, or we can buy units to attack other bases. So here we've got resources that we can buy straight out with diamonds. As always, diamonds are the paid for currency in the game, currently I have 7. Right, the star gives you like 16, but then pretty much forces you to use them through the tutorial. There's, a, there's, one, there's one building you build through the tutorial that takes 10 minutes and it's like, Oh, just increase with diamonds. Please buy diamonds, we really need you to buy some diamonds. <laughs> Goddamn diamonds. So, here we got our units, we've got conscript, beach bot, spy, brute, partisan, clone marine, sniper, fembot, golem, ninja, field medic, warbot, butcher, ripsaw, medibot, howitzer, incinerator, renegade, liberator. So as you can see, quite a decent amount of units. This game's also only in beta, so more units to come probably. We've got some turrets here that we can add to our base, cameras, light turrets, sniper turrets, factories, these are the things that generate your resources as I've said. We've got some traps you can place down. Now, uh, you saw earlier I had a spy unit. Now, those are the guys that went, you meant to, you know, send through the base first and uh, discover the traps. We've got some teleporters. We've got construction materials. These are your blocks you see here. We've got some shields, so you can put up a shield. So if you don't want to be attacked for three days, 24 diamonds, and you've got a shield. Uh, I think it's a bit unfair that, you know, <laughs> the free players will never be able to shield themselves, so they're going to be constantly attacked, but there you go. And of course, you can expand your base, give yourself more space. And again, that's just with diamonds, which uh, I still think is pretty unfair. You know, that's the base you got for your free player, or you can have all that if you want to pay the diamonds. So, this game's very heavily uh, diamond focused at the moment, it seems. Let's uh, cancel off that. Now, what I'm going to do is show you an attack on an enemy base. And this is the kind of system that I do quite like about the game. It's uh, It's got a very good combat system. So if we go onto the target locator here, we can either choose various people to attack, uh, or we can just click best match and that will select a, a match for us. So let's go best match. Ah, don't look at that. That's one of my friends who's angry with me. <laughs> Christ, let me just close that down. Right, okay, so as you can see here, we've just joined someone else's base, looking uh, quite similar to ours at the moment. But we've got this yellow area here where we can place our units, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Now, where's the best place to go? Um, <laughs> we've got our bot with us, so let's uh, go onto our units here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a breach bot. He's going to clear the wall for us. Security breach. Now, we'll also place down the Femborg, which is like a very powerful unit. Oh no! I placed it right in front of a turret, that was stupid. Right, let's get her to move so she doesn't get blasted. I've got no energy. Brilliant. <laughs> right, the way the energy system kind of works in this game, I'm going to get shot again. I'm going to die. Um, the way the energy system works, let me just turn off the music. There we go. Turn off sound for the moment there, just because that music gets very annoying very quickly. Basically, you have at the top your energy reserve. So for human units, you've got uh, this, uh, I think it's called, yeah, lucid stuff. So that's what you use to power up your human units, and for your robotic units, you've got power. Now, these do regen like with your resources and things like that, but if you're not going to use them, so say if you're at zero, you can still play. However, it's so slow, it's unreal. Right, we should be able to withdraw pretty soon. Once we get one more energy, if we don't get shot by that, oh, we're going to die. Why did I build in front of you? <laughs> that was really stupid on my part. I did build right in front of that turret. I didn't see it, but... Um, we should have built down there a bit where I was looking before. Right, we're going to withdraw from there because we don't want her to die. And we'll just go home. See if we can get a, uh, an easier fight. 
Let's try again. Let's go best match. Aha, right. Let's see how this guy's doing. Oh, look. <laughs> They've already got some dead ends here. Now, have we got a turret that's going to kill us this time? No. However, we also don't have a breach bot anymore. Because we got it killed. So, what we'll do is pop that there. Pop that there. Now, we should be able to just bust through that wall. There we go. Right, we should, we'll be able to get through this wall even without our breach bot. So we're going to use this golem guy. And then we're going to use our fembo to uh, really sort that guy out. Okay. Energy, one out of four. Now, if I press recharge there, costs 24 energy of my stockpile. My power, sorry. costs 24 power to recharge the four energy for movement or shooting. So... You know, you're going to run out of that fairly fast if you do play like a mental. Okay, got the uh, the gate down. Still need to wait for it to recharge some stuff. I'm going to move our golem in. We may as well give him some more energy. See, 32, uh, <laughs> 32 power now to re refill my 4 energy. So it, it just uh, keeps going up. So, you know, if you do play this uh, on, uh, like, you know, non-stop, you are going to run out of energy very fast. And then, of course, you'll be buying diamonds to get more, stuff like that. Uh, okay, uh, we should be able to shoot him again. Come on, get dead. There we go. Right, so he's dead. Now, as you can see, when you're not playing with constantly refilling your energy, it takes about 15, 10, 10 15 seconds to recharge one spot of energy. So after, oh, I mean, for this guy, 25 seconds just to make one movement. So, you know, at the end of the day, the... The battle system's nice, but I think it needs to be a bit more fast-paced. Maybe increase the amount of energy you regen. Um, I mean, look, there's not even really any point in moving me any further because it's going to take me, you know, at least another six, seven steps to get just inside the base, and that's going to be all my power there gone. So, you know what, we may as well just go home. Um, see, look, <laughs> one energy, still got to wait. See, you can only teleport your units back once they're on this yellow area here. So we're even going to have to wait just so I can get my golem back. Now something is shooting at me, but it keeps missing, which is okay. <sighs> One. <laughs> now we wait another 25 seconds. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice combat system. With uh, It kind of sort of, uh, if you had the other units as well, they play out at the same time. So it's, uh, I can't remember what the word was used, but it's it's you know a kind of nice combat system i do like the combat system but it needs to be more fast paced because right now waiting 25 seconds just to move a goal on one step just so you can get home is pretty pretty annoying to be honest right and then we have to wait again <laughs> until we can withdraw him come on dear me oh. Da, 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 da. The art style is quite nice, as you can see. Uh, you can customize your own base. So these guys have gone for like a greeny color. If you notice, my guys are wearing black. Uh, if I just uh, withdraw now, there we go. Got our guy home. We can go back to our own base. You can see here, my guys are black. You can customize your own avatar. So that's me. You can get your own color. Choose your name. Choose your base name, and even join a clan. So there's different kind of clans. So if I go, say I want to be a competitive freedom fighter that wants to fight for principles then I'll be part of the Manu Wraith if I wanted to fight for wealth scorpion and so on so they're not clan made clan the clan made clans <laughs> they're not player made clans but there are you know is a clan system you can join I'm not quite sure how detailed that gets but we'll have a look so there we go guys that's DVA exile once again by game so okay game still just the general sort of uh, Facebook strategy game but uh, as many other reviewers have said, it is actually got a bit of strategy. So, for example, like I said, when you need to take your spies in to make sure there's no traps, you know, you can shoot through walls to get into places, kind of like XCOM. It's uh, yeah, it's okay for a strategy game on Facebook. Something a bit new and different, but still, they've got an, an energy system that's kind of holding them back. You know, it's either <laughs> buy loads of energy or you're not going to play this game faster than your grandma plays chess. It's... <laughs> At the end of the day, they need to make it a bit more fast-paced. I'd like to see rather rather than an energy system like per individual unit, have it that it rolls on like a tick. So, you know, your units gain 5 energy every 10 seconds, something like that. And say, for example, you've got 10 attacks a day. 
So you can attack a base and then have an actual fast pace, you know, nice playing strategy game rather than a really, really slow pace or by energy system. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, Deviate Exile. Check it out on Facebook. Link will be down below. And subscribe for more free-to-play videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.